So what I want to do is make some little kind of branching elements. And I want to add a little bit of texture to them, but I also want to lengthen them and reduce the cross section from quarter inch down to about eh, one eighth of an inch. But I do want to have a little bit of movement, a little bit of forging dynamics here. If we strike a material with a rounded hammer, we're going to get force in all directions. That's not what I want to do. I want to take a specific hammer that has a radius only in this direction. And I'll strike the material like this on the rounded portion or the bick of the anvil so I can get the material to grow longitudinally, but also I'll be moving it around so I can put a little bit of texture into this bar. So we'll convert the round bar into something far more interesting. So when I'm at the anvil, what I'm gonna do is use the rounding hammer in concert with the bit. So I'll place the material 90 degrees to the, to the anvil, and I may change that a little bit. I just wanna get some texture. I'll start here and I may move this way and this way as I rotate and turn so that I can extend the material out a little bit and then give it some texture. I'll start at the end and I'll make the end first and then I'll blend the end into essentially the body of the branching element as I work. I'll heat up about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And I want to get a good strong heat, almost yellow, not quite sparkling. I'm rotating the bar, the heat travels from the outside to the inside. Leave it on the tip a little bit, it's going to get it pretty darn hot. Turn it up, now I'm just going to work the end, probably right about here. Turning 90 degrees, just to draw the tip down, and that's getting pretty good. And I, right away I can tell that working this portion of the bit is going to give me enough action. I could tilt the hammer a little bit as I work just to get some action. But I just want to rough up the end of that thing, and I'm pretty happy with that. I'll leave it like that. I'll go ahead and reheat it. And again, I'm just going to kind of work it on down. I'm rotating the bar. I can turn it a little bit like this. And I just want a little bit of action. And that's probably enough. It's a pretty quick process. And I don't mind if there's a little bit of movement. We may actually twist this later on. So I'll do one more heat to finish this stem. And again. And that's good enough. And I might have a little bit of a bend there, so I'll straighten that out. 